We call them the explosives. That's what I'm landing on. I just feel like it's simple. It's direct to the point. I, I had a, a period of time for today's show to talk about these explosives, and he named every single last one of them. Tony Pollard, C.D. Lamb, Brandon Cooks, Deuce Vaughn, Kevontae Turpin. He hit the nail on the head. When the trade happened, when the draft was over, I said, my goodness, we, we have legitimately five players that are explosive, that can take one to the crib any point in time on the field, that can put stress on your defense, because that is important as well. The Cowboys didn't have enough stress players on offense to stress out the stress player on defense. They got five of them. I'd argue they had two last year. And I'm not even counting a guy like Jake Ferguson, because Jake Ferguson, after the catch, showed that he could be one of the better tight ends in doing so. So you could technically include him in here. You know, I know he's not Kyle Pitts, but he can make he can make some things shake after the catch. But these are the explosives. And it would behoove them not to involve all these guys. Now, TP, CD, and Brandon, they're going to be fine. They're going to get involved. In fact, they have already been making plays in the sense of, you know, CD Lamb and Brandon Cooks. But what I what I love and I'm hearing of seeing down there, Deuce Vaughn is extremely active, extremely active with Dak Prescott at quarterback and with that first unit. Now, TP has been out, and we'll get to it in a second. Malik Davis has been getting some run as well as RB2. But it's Deuce Vaughn that needs to have some sort of role as a satellite back because his, his skill set is just too good to ignore. The very same thing could be said for Kevontae Turpin offensively. Now, let's go to Twitter real quick and talk about uh, some of the things Kyle Yeomans had. We'll, we'll get to the other ones. I want to go straight to the third point here. He says, love that first action we've seen from Kevontae Turpin. He's quick and he's versatile. One of the things that we've been saying for quite some time. See if it'll pull up here. Here we go. For quite some time about Kevontae Turpin is that he has to be able to be involved offensively. And it's criminal that they did not do it last year because you lacked the explosives. So in his first day back, First day, I, I'm not, I know we shouldn't overreact too much, but it's still exciting to see them kind of get him involved in the slot or whatnot. He's putting guys on skates. He he just did Kelvin Joseph dirty a number of times. Here's the second time he did Kelvin Joseph dirty, Cowboys Nation. Which, again, this guy is quick like that. Uh, Kamate Turpin spoke. He, he spoke about why he didn't get a chance to get involved last year, and it was mostly to do with not being available until like maybe the second week in camp or something like that. And he couldn't pick up the playbook offensively. That's maybe the reason why if you listen to CD lamb, he'll say it was Kellen Moore. <laughs> he won't say it. He won't directly say that, but his facial expressions will say that. And I don't think he's wrong because look, man, you needed some juice last year. And I, look, I mean, he might not have been able to know the whole playbook, but put something out there to get him involved because we needed that explosiveness. So if Kevontae Turpin can, can be involved, if he can be a part, not the expendables, not the incredibles, but the explosives that just adds another dimension to the offense. Turp talk spoke with the media. He said, quote, last year, coming from the USFL, not getting to do OTAs in the minicamp, I feel like this year I got to do those things. I feel like I'm ahead of where I need to be coming from the offensive end. Come in, learn the plays. I just feel like I'm in a wonderful spot right now coming in and being able to do those two things during the offseason. That probably is why he wasn't able to get on the field. But to me, that's a more of a an issue with your coordinator or your offense. Um, I get it. You know, he... He couldn't pick up the O. The O was not as simple to pick up. 